Good morning, everyone. I've now got five minutes because I don't want to take any questions. So um, the first two minutes, I'd just like to have a two minute silence while we think about mine of Um uh, So I'm Anthony Ferguson, I'm a Deputy Director in the Department for Transport. I'm one of the, uh, effectively one of the co-funders of uh, TTF, um, an organisation we set up uh, a few years ago because uh, we needed to get people in rooms like this to have discussions about how to solve big problems. Uh, I think today we've come to talk about probably the biggest problem. Um, when I think about uh, congestion and the way I think about it in um, kind of departmental terms is that, and this is one of the, one of the metrics we use, is if we get an MP asking a, a question in Parliament about congestion on roads and what to be doing about it, or if we get uh, somebody writing a letter to their MP who then writes to one of our ministers and says, what are you doing about solving congestion on roads? I can pretty much guarantee that about 20 people around the department put their hand up and say, oh, well, I'm doing something about that, but they won't want to answer the question because congestion is one of those problems that is everywhere and sort of nowhere. Nobody wants to own it because it's too difficult. Um, ministers really would love to know the answer to how do you solve a problem like congestion? Um, and the way we answer it is saying things like, well, we're encouraging more people to catch buses. So the people who do bus policy would say, public transport's the answer. We have people who do, who are spending billions of pounds now on promoting active travel. So they'd say, we're getting more people walking and cycling. That's the answer. We've got people who are um, electrify, electrifying the vehicle fleet. They'll say, well, we're dealing with the environmental impacts of congestion by making sure that cars and vans and buses, <laughs> trucks are cleaner. But that doesn't solve congestion. That just means it's cleaner. Uh, so congestion is one of these kind of all pervasive subjects that ministers uh, fret about a lot. Uh, and we can all see what the economic impact of congestion is. Um, but if we could have been having this discussion 10, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, um, one of the reasons why we keep coming around to it is because it is so, so difficult to, to fix, um, whether it's rural congestion or inner city congestion. So uh, one of the kind of exciting things about the last few years has been um, some of the money that's been available through GovTech and other projects to fund ideas uh, to try and find new solutions to uh, congestion. And technology is clearly one of the, the, the ways potentially that we can do something different so that highway authorities who manage the roads and people like me who use the roads have better information, better tools, better services that allow them at least to make sure that the road network we have, which isn't going to change fundamentally anytime soon, because the road space that's out there is pretty finite. What you use it for, how you use it, what decisions you make, uh, whether it's on a Monday morning or a Friday afternoon or a Sunday lunchtime, um, that, that could change. So how you do things could change. Um, but what decisions do you make and how do you make them? Well, you make them because you have better information, you have better data, you have better evidence, and you're doing it in real time. And these are all the sorts of things that the TTF is, uh, is there to do. So uh, I'm really glad that we're here today. Um, the last time we, we gathered was just before the kind of the lockdown started. So it feels to me like this is the bookend uh, uh, to that kind of heavy duty lockdown period. Uh, so, and I think the fact that we're all, there's so many of us here today, and we've got so many um, exciting projects to hear about is a real sign of progress. You know, we haven't been in lockdown sitting on our hands doing nothing. Quite the opposite, we've been really, really busy. You've all been really, really busy. So I think this is a great way to kind of kickstart kind of TTF, the next chapter, uh, dealing, as I say, with what is undoubtedly the trickiest uh, but most important question we've got to solve. And if Trudy Harrison, our, our new technology minister, was here, I'm sure she'd be saying similar things. She'd be pointing out that as a woman, she's looking out at the audience, feeling slightly different about the audience. But um, when you meet her, I hope you'll find that she's A, super enthusiastic about this, uh, B, very engaging. Uh, so she is somebody that we can work with, we can make real progress with. So um, before too long, we're going to talk about TTF with her. We're going to explain who you all are and what we all do. And then hopefully we can get into the real guts of it and start talking about, well, what actually do you do? What are the projects that are starting to show promise, that are starting to suggest that there are technological solutions to tackling congestion, which is a here and now problem that we can fix with here and now technology. This is not all about, you know, tomorrow's world solutions. This is about today's world solutions. 
So I'm looking forward to making lots of notes, learning a lot um, and hearing some fantastic presentations. So thank you very much and have a good day.